Paige does a lot of things that you can't explain. When most people think of Minnesota, the first thing that comes to their mind is brutal winners and world-class hockey. This place is known as the heart and soul of the American hockey universe. It's the home away from home for every NHL player looking to perfect their game during the offseason. But this isn't a hockey story. It's a basketball story. It's the story of one of the best female athletes to ever set foot on a court. Oh, now I got your attention. Talk to me nice, man. Yeah, well, this hooper I'm talking about is making waves across your IG feed. Cross, hezzy, no look pass, sheesh. She's so impressive, even NBA All-Stars are pulling up to her high school basketball games to see for themselves. Who am I talking about? Paige Buckets Becker. And she's about to change the game. Paige was born October 20th, 2001 in Edina, Minnesota. It's no secret from early on that Paige's athletic abilities were something special. As a kid, she played soccer, softball, and baseball before making the decision at age five to focus on just basketball. Her dad never made it to the big time, but he recognized his daughter's natural skill and did everything he could to help Paige get there. Paige was coached by her father up until the seventh grade. He always said to her before every game, be you. Be great, and that's exactly what she did. She was beating everybody in middle school, even the boys. And by the eighth grade, she had already received D1 scholarship offers from major schools like Minnesota, Iowa State, and Illinois. That's the year that everything changed for the women's basketball phenom. It was clear Paige's athleticism and capabilities were already far above her classmates. She played on the high school varsity team as an 8th grader and even started in 6 games for the Royals. The scrawny, scrappy middle schooler made her presence felt almost immediately. In just the second game of the season, she went 8 for 9 from 3 and ultimately solidified her place as the best player in the state. She finished the season leading the team in 3 point shooting and ranked second in assist. Her creative and flashy style of play was starting to become too bold to ignore and it was unlike anything anyone had ever seen before, especially from a 13-year-old girl. Not only is she certified unicorn fan, but she's even drawn comparisons to some of the greats like Magic Johnson, Diana Taurasi, and Pistol Pete Maravich. And she was only getting started. Paige made her high school debut in 2016 at Hopkins High. Right away, the 5'11 guard proved she was here to stay. Becker started her high school career off right, putting up 28 points, 5 steals, and 4 assists. Not bad, Rook. That season, she became one of the team's leading scorers and passers, averaging 20 points per game and 4 assists. Keep in mind the girl is only a freshman, already looking like one of the best players at any age in the country. But the season wasn't smooth sailing like everyone had hoped. Hopkins finished with a near perfect record of 31 and 1. The only loss coming when it mattered most, the state championship. Even though Paige led the team in scoring that game with 19 points, she was far from happy. She knew there was still work to be done and was driven by the fact that she had yet to reach her full potential as a basketball player. After her freshman season, Paige sat down with her AAU coach and made a goal sheet. Winning state was the first thing on her list. She also wrote that she wanted to play for Team USA and get a scholarship from UConn. Next thing you know, she's in Buenos Aires, Argentina with the U16 USA, competing at the 2017 FIBA Women's Americas Championship. She averaged 11 points per game and helped the US take home gold. From there, she went on to help them win three more gold medals in the FIBA U17 Women's World Basketball Cup the 2018 Summer Youth Olympics 3-on-3 Tournament and the 2019 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup, where she put up a tournament high 5.5 assists per game and was named MVP after a 74-70 LT win against Australia. While she was traveling the world and collecting goals left and right, Paige still knew there was work to be done back home in Minnesota. Take a step back to 2018. Hold up. The five star recruits junior season. She's coming off a roller coaster of a sophomore season that included her being sidelined mid season with an ankle injury and Hopkins suffering another loss in the state championship. Despite it being one of Becker's most difficult seasons yet, she still proved that she's one of the greats. She became the first ever sophomore to win the Star Tribune's Metro Player of the Year and be recognized as Minnesota's Gatorade Player of the Year. 
the first of many groundbreaking accomplishments in her career. She'll let you know she's gonna hit a three in your face, and then she does it. Still, nothing could satisfy her hunger for winning a state championship, and she vowed to work harder than ever her junior season to make sure it would happen. Finally, as a junior, Beckers and the undefeated Hopkins squad were gearing up for their fourth straight state championship appearance and determined to catch a dub. The only thing flashing through Paige's mind was her goal sheet from three years ago when she vowed she would win a state championship one day. And that day would be today. Paige had her very own MJ-esque flu game. Her and the Hopkins girls were unstoppable, absolutely crushing their opponents 74 to 45. Hopkins would finish 32 and 0, and with a place in the top five teams in the nation. As for Paige, she finally got that elusive state title at last. Less than a month after the championship, Paige crossed off the last goal on her list when she committed to play at UConn on April 1st, 2019. It seemed like Paige had it all. 2,000 career points, a state title, multiple Olympic gold medals, a spot on the most prestigious college basketball program, a list of accomplishments anyone would be boasting about. And remember, this is all before she even started her senior year yet. Her skills and confidence and fame were growing rapidly. You know what that is. You know what that what? is. Shooter's touch, baby. And if you didn't already know the name Paige Beckers, you were about to. That summer, Paige was one of seven girls invited to Steph Curry's elite and exclusive basketball camp. It was a full-blown Minnesota takeover with her playing alongside other top players from the area, Chet Holmgren and Jalen Suggs. Paige proved she could play against the Grace when she took on Curry in a three-point shooting contest and almost won. Shoot, if that wasn't enough, she earned the camp's Female Outstanding Player Award. Paige Beckers was officially a household name, y'all, and a force to be reckoned with. In just two years, her IG following grew from 8K to over 400K. Not only did she get that blue check, but she's followed by some elite company, including one of her favorite players, Kyrie Irving. Between playing with NBA legends, winning gold medals, and giving back to the community, Paige still had her sights set on one last season in the Hopkins jersey. The best player in the country had an epic and historic senior season that will go down as one for the ages. Averaging over 21 points per game and nine assists, she led Hopkins to another undefeated season with the team beating their opponents by an average of almost 35 points. Paige Buckets Beckers made it clear why she's one of the top women's basketball recruits in recent history, finishing her career with over 2,800 total points. Even NBA legends like Carl Anthony Towns and D'Angelo Russell pulled up to see the star play in person. Not only was she the only athlete to ever three-peat as the Star Tribune's Metro Player of the Year, but she was also selected to play at the McDonald's All-American and the Jordan Brand Classic Games. And if that wasn't enough, she also won Naismith Prep Player of the Year Award and the Gatorade National Player of the Year, which Towns surprised her with himself. And if praise from all these greats isn't enough, wait till you hear what she did in her first year at UConn. Yo, she took the basketball world by storm, dominating from the jump in her freshman year. By February, she had become the first UConn player in history to boast back-to-back 30-point -back games. By the end of the season, she was named Big East Player of the Year, Big East Freshman of the Year, and unanimous first team All Big East and All Big East Freshman Team selection. To top it all off, Paige would go on to win AP Player of the Year, the Naismith Trophy, Wooden Award Player of the Year, and the Nancy Lieberman Award as the top Division I point guard. It goes without saying, y'all, but she's the first player in history to do all of this. Despite losing in the Final Four, it's safe to say Paige put on for UConn in year one, and the whole world was watching. Now Paige has over 800,000 followers and is ready to come back to compete for a natty, alongside her best friend and new UConn teammate, AZ Fudd, next season. Only Paige can stop herself. Keep your eyes peeled. It's been your favorite storyteller here, OT Cambo. I gotta get out of here now though. Later. Y'all swear y'all could guard me. I don't think so. Y'all need to watch these videos though right here and subscribe. Then maybe you could guard me.